OFM, the sound of your life, your good morning breakfast brought to you by Accident Angels because your life matters and for the first time in over 500 and something days, I'm thrilled to welcome our very first in-studio guest. Who would have thought that this day would have arrived? And it is not only one person, but... One and a half people. <laughs> Conrad Koch. Ah, 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 who's the half person here? Who's the half person here? Okay, just the, the, the people. Hello, everybody at home. I'm Conrad. This is Chester. Chester's obviously a puppet. No, come on. Uh, please. At OFN, I would be a DJ. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> Margaret, great to see you. Sand, great to see you. Shandor, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Behind your little plastic universe you got there, like your son, how son, he's like he's got it ball. It's great to be here, guys. I'm so excited. Hey, your first guest in five years, and you chose a ball of latex. I'm literally a TTE. Well done. <laughs> I could Con- be a, I could be a station manager at OFN. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Conrad, well, firstly, um, y- you flew down or up. I don't know. I'm not a geography teacher. Uh, either way, the moment security stops you and asks you, what's in the bag? How do you explain it in a nice way that it's a body? That's our favorite thought. They go, sir, is there anything dangerous in the suitcase? And then I stick my head out and I go, yes, Chuck, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> and they freak out. And not even joking, Shandor. They freak out. Why? Because they think I'm Nathaniel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Except in Los Angeles. Oh, Sam, in Los Angeles, the lady said, sir, you can't travel with a person in a suitcase. I said, I'm not a person. I'm made out of plastic. She said, this is Los Angeles. Everyone's made out of plastic. Everyone's made <laughs> Conrad Koch, Chester Messing joining us on the Good Morning Breakfast. Chester, you are probably the only puppet in the world, or the puppet with, well, that's very close to an, getting his own ID book, and yep. secondly, the one with probably the most lawsuits against him. That's true, which is one, which is more than any other puppet other than John Steenhazen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, San. Hey, it's always good when the sports guy gets the political jokes. You know, you, you know you're winning. <laughs> so, so just to to paint the picture, Conrad, if you do not know him, uh, Conrad and Chester had their own TV show. Yeah, Conrad, mm-hmm. you are a very famous comedian. And Shando, to the, to, I just want to correct you. I had a TV show. Mm. He hid under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer. Okay, <laughs> okay so um, y- you are a, a full grown man playing with a, a puppet. I know, I judge you- him too. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the puppet. <laughs> and, and you just, you make a living out of putting your hand up a puppet's. Oh, my, in my, you know what? Look yes. at that. It's like I'm Jacob Zuma and he's a Gupta. <laughs> <laughs> Shandor, my state has been captured. <laughs> it's literally an arms deal. <laughs> you calm down. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm fully vaccinated. I know. <laughs> I can feel the 5G microchip buzzing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Conrad. So you are you are back in front of live crowds. It's so wonderful. I mean, yeah, you know what it's like for us. I mean, you, you've probably done lots of live gigs yourselves. Yeah. It's so good to actually see people again, interact with South African audiences about what's going on in the country. Lockdown, load shedding, looting. So much to talk about. So many L's. Uh, a lot of L's. That's true. Yeah. Not one lesbian. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get cancelled. <laughs> no, and, and very little love currently in South Africa. No, we need to love each other more. Yes. Don't we? Uh, Sam. Yeah, fair mm. enough. Yeah, don't look at me like that. I want your body. Yeah, you see, that's what I thought. <laughs> get, in, get in the suitcase. Yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> you, you'll have to see this. Uh, we'll post the video on, on our social pipes and on the blog on ofm.co.za. Uh, but it's election day. Yeah, now we know Chester Missing is a, a big lover of the politics. That's right. I am a, a so, puppet in politics. It makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> in. Probably this guy keeps not the only one. No, that's true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is a three state. You guys literally. It's <laughs> not Have you seen that guy? You're basically Takalani three states. 
<laughs> you guys have literally been run by a tata for years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's not forget the the Freire Dairy Project. Nonetheless, let's leave that there. Ooh. That is what it is. That's what the NTA said too. Oh, <laughs> clear the joke. <laughs> clear the joke. Google it. That's what the Freire... Never mind. Because I didn't do anything, video. They didn't do anything. That's why they left the Never mind. Keep going, Shandor. Keep going. <laughs> With your sexy haircut. <laughs> it's new. I'm glad you noticed that piece because the rest of my team didn't say a thing. Uh, but... Okay, so so it's election day. Chester, where do you make your mark? How do you make your mark? What what what's the process? When of you choosing who to vote for? Yes. Uh, you know it's hard. I don't know, Margaret. I don't know, you know, who do you choose? Have you seen John Steenhazen's face? He looks <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. He looks like he's having a poo all the time. This is walks around looking like he has constipation. Three eight strand. There, start the decay. Start the decay. What are you dentists? What's decaying? I don't. Un- I don't understand. I don't know the ANC. How can you vote for sort of Ramaphosa? There's the stage four load shedding right now, Sam. Do you know how dangerous that is, Margaret? If there's stage four load shedding before the elections, this is the ANC doing the very best they can. <laughs> This is, you know when your auntie's coming over, your granny's coming, and you clean your whole house, you stub all your junk in the cupboard. That's the ANC right now. This is the best they've got. Stage four. You know there's someone in Escon right now with Bostic gluing things down. So go get, go get Ether ready. No, it's not a comrade. It's that. Just go. Go get in the ready. That's the ANC. Oh, we're basically at stage nine load shedding, and they're faking Monday. On, on Tuesday, the lights are turning off for a week. <laughs> Conrad Koch, Chester Messing on uh, the Good Morning Breakfast. Conrad, and your take on, on the election. Have you noticed when you drive, because Chester, I take it you don't have a license. It's just safer for everyone. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, but, but Conrad, when you drive down, well, any road currently in the country, have you noticed the exorbitant amount of political party posters sure. yeah. everywhere they're they're everywhere they're, they're, they had to be a special somewhere that's <laughs> behind bulk and safe an ex macro got taken down and turned into I don't know what, they, they, they literally if they were as committed to fixing poverty as they are putting out posters maybe we would get somewhere or selling us what they're gonna do the, a, the DA gets things done they get things done what do they get done Margaret racism that's what they get <laughs> That's what they get done. That's the only thing. Hello, my name's John Stearnhazen. Yes, they, 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 the, the DA's kicking people out holes and the guy in charge is called Stearnhazen. That's false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> but, and Rana Thorza, he's called that because he's like, no more Rana, just much richer. No, I don't do it. <laughs> it's all like The ANC didn't even pay the people who work in Latuli House. Did you see that, Sam? Even the people who work in the actual ANC are not benefiting from the ANC. <laughs> <laughs> the only people benefiting from the ANC are their relatives, like Andile Ramaphosa. That's why he calls it the new dawn, because it's literally his son is rising. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Andi, he's literally means his own kid. <laughs> You're going to get us into trouble. No, no, no. You're the one going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> In your face. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, so, so Conrad, currently... Because you're not scared to call a spade a, a digging shovel. Yeah. And the moment you dabble in, in politics, it's like dancing with the devil. Yeah. Is that ace? Are you talking that ace? <laughs> <laughs> Met Aisha. Met, ah, there we go. Once the stray start to. So, how many lawsuits have you had against you? Well, the, none really, because what's really? great about yeah, none. Well, I mean, there was the Steve Hoffman situation with uh, <laughs> oh, Steve Hoffman. Oh, Steve, yeah, like a Steve, come closer. Because <laughs> <laughs> your thought. <laughs> what what happened with Steve? Well, Steve's situation wasn't so much from saying things like satire. Well, it was satire because Chester played with him on Twitter yeah. because he said that in his book, blacks are the architects of apartheid. Uh, he effectively blamed black people for their own suffering, which is, of course, just sickening. And tr- we all want to get along. We all love each other. Afrikaans, Nensa, uh, 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 Sutu, Nensa. We all just love each other. You know, we want to be a liquor country. So let's not say. 
say rubbish is deeply hurtful. Mm. So we, you know, we went and we challenged his sponsors of shows that he was involved with uh, and said, you can't support this statement. So then Steve went and said, oh, I need to this nasty to me. I can't like the top this. Help me to come from my ex so long. And he thought, oh, look, it's in it. He can't do this latex. It's a clean Nathaniel. Because so long. So, um, the, what happened was we took on his, his sponsors uh, and the events and so his sponsors started withdrawing and he went and cl- laid a harassment charge literally the charge that women who abused by their husbands use uh, 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 it, 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 uh, the legal mechanism yeah. that to, to stop abusive husbands mm. from punching women he claimed that against a puppet which yeah. is obviously <laughs> and a very young magistrate granted it uh, which was ridiculous it shouldn't have been granted but for two weeks it was illegal for me to say his name. Wow. For two weeks? For two weeks. If I tweeted his name, Shandor, yeah. he would go to jail. <laughs> 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 I wanted to. <laughs> he took away my data. <laughs> I so wanted to. <laughs> Why do you want me in jail? You keep me in a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Pros and cons. Exactly, and cons. Sam. It's called karma. <laughs> Dude, I don't care. Hopefully, Shando will stick his head. Okay. <laughs> this your tata. <laughs> no, so so that was a you know it's just it's just let's just love each other. So that that's actually the only time because yep. we're actually allowed to say a lot of stuff to each other in South Africa as long as you try to stick to the facts. Mm. You're not try to you stick to more or less the facts. You you know that you know if an organization is racist like the the DA stuff or or is you know, well like the ANC is racist. You know, Ace Machulu was meant to build houses for. Uh, poor black people in this country instead gave the tenders to his friends allegedly and so now we're in a situation where poor black people don't have homes that they should have that is structural racism so it's the ANC being racist so uh, you know and I, that no one's going to give me trouble for saying that that's called sneaking truth to ta. that's just call now he's gone gone yeah gone <laughs> gone I even phoned Jacob Zuma because he went to jail for like a day didn't he Sam <laughs> like I, I think a less than a day it was like half an hour you could get a Nando's order fast it was just it was in and he was was, uh, was he sick? Dude? How was Jacob Zuma sick, dude? The guy defeated HIV with a shower. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's true. I know. Um, was Jacob Zuma gonna sue me? Come, 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 oh, Shalosi. Tata don't tata violence. <laughs> well, Chester, I don't so, know if you so saw the, great. the latest reports, uh, but the wardens complained yep. extensively about Jacob Zuma for two reasons. Is it the thing on his head? No, don't no, no. <laughs> go there. No, 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 no. Because that would probably be a brain of which no one can complain about. Um, because there isn't any. But the, the thing is... <laughs> mm, you're going to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> it's joking, it's joking. Probably. Uh, he, he, they complained for two things. Firstly, that... Well, they expect two things of all prisoners. Mm. To clean their cells mm. and to make their beds. Of which the three days he was in prison, he didn't do any of those two. He, he just sat for there. more than three days. He just, wasn't he? he just well, three days, five days. <laughs> Semantics. <so. laughs> I think he was in for a day, and then they took him to an Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Because nobody who protested Jacob Zuma actually protested at the prison. They went and protested at Nacro. I don't know, was he hiding in the audiovisual section? I don't understand. <laughs> Why were you at Nacro? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, no, I mean, he's a, the guy's uh, got a level of, I mean, we have to respect the dude as a struggle hero who sold the freaking struggle for money. No, ah 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 out, leave, ah uh-uh. ah no, no. He put, he put South Africa on country no <laughs> no i phoned him shandor i phoned him to see how jail he is or his ringtone is yuck, yuck. <laughs> his voice now goes sandanani has reached the zumas unfortunately jacob gertrude non tolalela to their conchilosi gugu tuli tuti tantisa sin kodile edwards and ona tantikile and non kolaleko are all in the shower <laughs> Please leave a message and Gwede Nantasha will call you back. That's Gwede saying, how's it? Sounds like a diesel engine. 
So yeah, I'm not surprised because the guy is entitled and he thinks he's the, the deserves South. And then he literally sold South Africa down the toilet. So no, ah, uh-uh, ah, uh-uh, no, I can't, I can't imagine him doing any work for himself. He's very entitled. Well, Chester, you, you are very opinionated. I, and rightfully show. Thank you. You've got drawings on your arm. So, you know, either way. <laughs> yeah. Just stay Did you do facts. them yourself? <laughs> You're very lost, unforgiving. You look it? like you lost a fight to the fight they're off. <laughs> your tats look great, bro. They look great. Well, you're seeing it through glass. <laughs> He's going to get upset. He's going to kick you off the show and Sam, come stick your hand inside. <laughs> I would much rather miss that part. <laughs> so, Sorry, Shandor, your tats look great. <laughs> yeah, thanks, sir. Um, <laughs> suck up, suck up, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, back to back to Chester. Uh, you're very opinionated, obviously, mm. and, and rightfully so. But what's, what's your opinion on a better South Africa? How are we going to do this? I have no idea. I live in a suitcase and say <laughs> crap about politics. No idea. Don't ask politicians. That's the thought that's hard to make South Africa better. That's the first step. Next step is think for yourself. If the ANC has spent 27 years not delivering on anything, we have 73%, 70, what's it, 75% unemployment, 74.8% unemployment for the youth. I mean, they're not delivering. So there needs to be someone else. The DA is so useless, they can't. You you know how bad you have to be to lose to the ANC. You know how <laughs> useless you have to be. That is like losing to the Dathana, Dathana of politics. It is, I mean, you really should not be in it. So who in the street vote for? I don't know what to answer. I don't know. I think I must, I might just vote for myself, you know, on the form. I'll put myself on the form. <laughs> you know, it's actually not difficult to get yourself on the form. You need 500 backers, some other manuscript thing, a name that's shorter, the, the abbreviation must be shorter than eight, eight letters. letters. Yeah. And then 500 bucks. Well, if there's a party called ATN, we all stand it. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? They literally call themselves ATN. I don't want to, what, what, what's the next one going to be called? E-wallet? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I also actually drove past it because you, you get the, the ton of big political party posters. Yeah. The red ones, the blue yep. ones, and then the, the green ones. I know. And then I. Uh, that's the. Yeah. Julius, I love him. He went on diet. He went on diet. Yeah, you went on diet. Jeez, you always got the name. It's a revolutionary diet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they tried a revolutionary diet, Sam. It's, uh, you must try it. There's no white bread, no white rice, no white sugar. <laughs> Everything white, that's all. <laughs> so, but have you noticed like the smaller party posters? The one every they did in a like, garage on their own. Independent candidate. Independent candidate. Who the I, hell are you? I drove past the poster that said the International Party. Hmm. Okay. International well, Party. I kid you not. There is a a picture of a globe. A globe <laughs> on the poster. Why are you representing the entire the Earth, whole Earth when, when we should be focusing South on Af- South Africa? Yeah. It makes sense, don't it? And then someone smokes in Dacha <laughs> and they thought, what am I going to do today? Let me take a chance. And they thought, I, you know, I need a visa. If I can get ace behind this, I'm in and boom, international party. Or on the other hand, uh, Shandor, it might just be an actual party. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was an actual invite. There's going to be Russians there. <laughs> international party. Post lockdown. Go to go to the party. Pitbull playing, you know, like Mr. Worldwide. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, like that. Margaret. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's probably the election Heal leader. the world. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Conrad, so election day is a, a few days away. It's Monday. It's a public holiday. So a lot of us just see this day as, hey, we're getting time off work to Brian. Well, that and is all election day is because no matter what you do. I mean, you know, I, I, the thing is, local elections, I know we're meant to care, Sam. Mm-hmm. And it's your democracy. You need to, you need to care. But really, it's a municipal, it's a local election. It's not the who's going to govern the country. It's going to go, it's, it's who's going to govern the like de- deathly end. Exactly. <laughs> it's totals. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> not even the politicians care, if we're honest. So quite frankly, just stay in bed, <laughs> turn on Netflix and just sleep. 
<laughs> and when you wake up on Monday, Ace will be back in charge of the three states. <laughs> no, don't do that. No, do it. Don't vote. No, go vote. You, you know, this democracy costs this country so much and we should all go just make sure that we fight back. Who's going to fix a thought hole? So really know that he's interested in, well, I don't know, maybe an independent candidate. Choose someone who suits your interests. Some people say you should vote strategically, don't they, Sam? Yeah. Don't DA. Don't DA. If you don't, don't DA, it's a vote for the ANC. That's a don't, don't DA. Don't, don't for the ANC. Oh, it's Helen Zilla. If you're a Chester, that's why Helen talk. Chester, if you don't vote DA, it's a th- she's like the thing that great in Natasha. You're Chester, you need to vote. She sounds like day zero. Chester. <laughs> Just you got to vote for the, the DA. So the thing is, they all have vested interests. Vote for someone who suits your needs. Patricia Delo, and then she called a party good. And then clearly, they don't have any good, decent ideas. Good, really, what's next? It's like voting for the OKs. It's not really a choice. Yeah. Okay, it's so... like Cockstadt. It sounds rude, but it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chester. I love you, Shandor. I love you. I love well you. done on this being your last day here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Chester's okay. whole bent on causing chaos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, bro. Um, no, Going no. rogue. <laughs> Going rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen your hair? <laughs> Listen, so. Francois van Coke is going to be jealous. <laughs> So the the reality is, if I get fired today, then um, Conrad, I hope you are willing to put your arm up my. P- oh yeah, yeah. I will. Oh yeah, I will need that. Need that. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, Conrad Chester, five tips. What are we doing this election day? Because it's gonna be it it, it's the first mm, election since since lockdown, mm. uh, since the global pandemic, since COVID. Mm. It's gonna be different. The queues are going to be much longer because we have to stand two meters apart. Yeah. All these types of things come into play. How yeah. do we survive Election Day 2021? This is a great question. First thing is get vaccinated. Go, go, go. And, not get, and you may be one of those things. I don't know what's in the vaccine. I don't know. I don't know, Sam. What's in the vaccine? You don't know what's in anything. What's in that? <laughs> you don't know. There's no way it's that lick and still good for you. So you don't know. Don't be an idiot. Just go get vaccinated. And then make sure you've read up on the different political parties. And by red, uh, uh, red up, I mean, just choose the color you like best. If green is your favorite, then vote for them. Maybe you've got tooth decay. I don't know. <laughs> Three and front plus. I don't know. They sell. What are they? A medicine? Why are they plus? I don't understand. <laughs> are they selling batteries? It doesn't matter. That uncle in charge looks like he's a nice guy. I don't know. Uh, Julius is great. Go vote. Did you look how photoshopped he is on his red toast? I don't Maybe he tastes like strawberry. I don't know. Doesn't that eventually all that counts is that you use your vote and uh, and whatever you do, do not vote for... <laughs> yeah. You would never say the DA. No, no, no. <laughs> you didn't mean that. No, we like John Steen Hayes. Well, no, I don't. But you know, I've got to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I like John has been great in the past. So racist. Now leave him alone. <laughs> no, you know what? The, okay. and, and, the, and the next thing to do is to talk to the people around you in the queue. Get to understand oppositional political views. Get to understand people whose opinions are not the same as your own. Because that is the only way we create a unified South Africa. Through seeing ourselves through other people's eyes. And if you're not going to do all of that, can't live in my suitcase. Because quite honestly, it's bigger than any house the A. ANC is going to get Conrad, Chester, it's been a treat. I love you, Shandor. Uh, uh, I love you, Margaret. I love you, Sam. I love you guys. Love uh, you. We you. wish you all the best with the flight back because you go in the suitcase and then you come out on the belt. That's true. I come out on the belt and once I went missing and they didn't know where I was in France, actually. I went missing. Really, that Air France lost me. And then he went and said, I lost my tatat. I lost my tatis. I don't know where he is. And Air France is, what is your tatat's name? And he said, Chester missing. Oh, then, it's, then it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real story. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, I love coming to the three state. It's a lekker place. 
It's really South African. Hello, yellow. This is my place. I love it. I love coming here. It's like a very real part of South Africa. A nice Cape Town, which is, I don't know where that's, uh, the United States of the UK. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. Nobody knows. Everything changed behind the mountain. Everything and changed. And any plans for visiting Northern Cape, Northwest, Southern Gauteng soon? Uh, No. <laughs> Straight up <laughs> Never I will never go there again No, no We are planning on touring uh, You know We've got this new show It's called Ranatatat You can find me on the socials I put it out on TikTok On Chester Missing My new show is Ranatat That's a great name Because it makes sense That's what he is And uh, <laughs> It's a really fun show, you know, as, you know, all the people from Bloom are so grateful that we came last night. You know, we, it's uh, all about having fun and we need to laugh together as South Africans, exactly. is my experience. But that's one thing that unites us. It's, it's what unites us, and You know, we laughed when COVID arrived in South Africa. <laughs> we laughed when looting happened, didn't we? laughed. And then when lockdown started, we went to the toilet theater. And then we laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Humor is the one thing that unites us. Yeah. Our politics divide us, but we can all laugh whenever we see Shandor's tattoos. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> That's Bringing the nation together through drawing. Thank you, Shandor. Um, but have you seen this one? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's Oh, He's got a Nelson Mandela. That's so. He wants to keep this job. <laughs> <laughs> that's Amandla. I'm Shandor. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Ace Nakashili was visiting on the day and he just wanted to show he's got he's got Nelson Mandela on his bicep there's like he if he if he works out Nelson Mandela gets fat <laughs> 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 I love it. Thanks, you guys. I love Earth and it's an honor to be here. Thanks for turning out my brother. She's all just jokes, except the you, Sam. Uh, you need to come on then. You're at work in sports gear because he's the sports guy. I'm, yeah. <sighs> no, put that away. Are you jogging here now? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. You know you're on radio. Nobody can see you. <laughs> Nobody knows you in your sports gear when you say, I'm the fan of the fan, I lost the game, Quentin the cock is I love it. No, I love you guys. I'm joking. Conrad, so in, in closing, it's it's lockdown, it's looting. What was the other L? Uh, love. Load shitting. Load shitting. Load shitting. But in short, shitting. We just mm. need more of the other two L's, which is love and, well, laughter. And love that, and laughter, exactly. Follow Chester Missing. We'll post everything on the blog, on our social pipes. Go check out this video. It's going to blow your mind. And the next time Conrad and Chester visit Central SA, well, get your bum in one of the seats. You do not want to miss out on this. Conrad, Chester, uh, well, Conrad, it's been a pleasure. Chester, it's oh, you are jokes and now. And okay. <laughs> okay. It's oh no, I love you guys. Bye. Bye. No, what are you doing? You gotta go back in the suitcase. No, help! No, <laughs> you can't do this! Shando! <laughs> Steve, help me! <laughs> you guys are great. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Oh, Conrad, it's it's been a pleasure. We wish you all the best. Stay safe, bud. Thanks, bro.